Hey guys, it's Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk really briefly about Miguel and his wife Nas. Nas has filed for divorce after I think they've been married three years, but they've been together for a long time. They were together 11 years before they got married. They met pretty young. I think they were still like 18, 19 years old, if I'm not mistaken, when they met because, um, it was on his first video shoot that they were introduced. They've gone through a lot of growing pains. They've done a lot of making up to break up and then they got married. Um, and then she filed for, Nas filed for divorce in 2021 and they reconciled and now she has filed again. And similar to Tia, I think Nas is going through um, her own form of trans formation and she just wants to live her life with her that I think may be a little different though is that they've had a lot of infidelity no infidelity in their relationship um, Miguel is a late bloomer he stated he was a late bloomer and he you know pretty much took advantage of his fame and his newfound self he also grew up in a very really strict religious household. You know, sometimes we who grow up like that rebel. I know I did. So you kind of rebel against everything and then you kind of want to experience everything because you've been told that it you can't. So you want to taste the forbidden fruit, right? So they were together, um, but he had cheated on her. And one of his most popular songs was basically his apology for his infidelity. But I saw an interview later, because I am a fan of Miguel's, where he kind of was on the fence about him really truly loving her because he said he didn't know what love was and he didn't know how to love himself, which that's huge. It's difficult for a person to have um, empathy for you when they don't understand what any of this looks like, what love looks like, what hurting someone you love looks like, you know. I think she's always been extremely supportive of him. Um, she supported him financially when they first got together, when he first started his career. So they've gone through, again, a lot of growing pains because they were together young. And I think now she's in her 40s or she just turned 40 and she just was like, it's my time. I want to live my life. I want to live my life. Um, I want to be me. I want to explore me. I want to love me. I think she's become a transformational coach now. Um, I think she's just really like, I just want to live my life and love on myself and be a champion for me. Sometimes when you take on a role with a powerful man, you make a decision that your life and your goals go on the back burner. And for some people, they're okay with playing that role forever. They've decided on it and they're fine with it. For other people, they need more. They need they need their own lives. They need to uh, flourish in their own way. And I think that's kind of what's happening with her. She sings, she acts, she models. And I think she's he's tried to support her too. And she has uh, stated that she's had some issues with depression and things like that. But I think she always is kind of maybe in the shadow of him. I think she just kind of wants to walk in her own light in this moment. And there isn't anything wrong with that. Again, I'm not promoting divorce. They may work it out. But what I'm saying is there are moments in time when you grow and you get to know yourself or you have a desire to get to know yourself. Like I said in the Tia video, that version of you can't always operate with the people that knew the past you. They sometimes can't coexist. Um, I also think with her, though, there's been a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment, a lot of betrayal, a lot of upset. Um, and I'm sure that has taken its toll. And there comes a point where you just can't forgive anymore. You can't forget anymore. You can't let go anymore. You can't. It's hard to get those old feelings back, you know? And I think that's that may be what's happening. I don't know for sure. But um, my heart goes out to her too because this can be tough. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that Miguel is really hurt because, again, they've been together. But, again, like I said in the Ime Udoko, Udoko video, 
people make decisions and sometimes we make decisions and we don't think about the consequences you have to understand when you make a decision there are consequences for the decisions you make and ask yourself am i willing to pay this cost and although sometimes we don't know how big the cost is going to be think about the worst i always tell people think about the worst possible things that can happen do you want to deal with that right if the worst possible thing because sometimes we get a little arrogant. We don't think anything can happen. We think we could outsmart it. We think it will be okay. I think he thought he may have gotten comfortable again and started back cheating. I'm not sure. Or she just may have said, you know what? I'm trying, but it really isn't working. Like I'm really ready to just go my own way and live my own life path, you know? Again, everyone's view on marriage and relationships are different. I am not pushing for anyone to live their life any particular way one thing I do always advocate for though is that you yourself are whole you yourself are love and are it's being love that your relationships pour into you and you pour into them and you guys can grow um, and stretch each other and when there is a death of a relationship it doesn't always mean one person has gone sometimes it just means that we can no longer pour into the relationship. We can no longer feed the relationship. Our life goals aren't the same anymore. The mission isn't the same anymore. Um, who I am doesn't want what you want anymore. And sometimes people go their own way. So if they can work it out and both be happy and healthy, I want that for all these couples that have divorced or filing for divorce. Um, but if they can't, I hope them love and light. That is what I wish for them. That's what I wish for everybody. I wish that for you too. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you are well, okay? Let me know your thoughts below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up the video. If you're interested in coaching, please contact me at signgary.com. I will talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.